Hello engineers this is Zubair In this video we will see about design of singly reinforced beam okay so the beam having span 5 meter and load on the beam is 8 kilo newton per meter so fck uh, grade of concrete is 20 newton per mm square and grade of steel is fe415 newton per mm square so first we'll see cross section dimension okay so here we will use this span by depth ratio formula okay span by 15 so this is taken from this table uh, this is the span by depth ratio for trial section uh, if your span range is 3 to 4 meter then your load having light then you can use this range okay 15 to 20 if your span is 5, 5 to 10 medium load for 12 to 15 you can use uh, span is having 10 uh, 5 to 10 uh, load is having heavy then you can use 10 to 12 span by 10 span by 12 you can use this okay now we are using this span by 15 for this loading okay span by 15 uh span is 5000 divided by 15 uh, you will get this 33 m uh, 333 mm so you can adopt this effective depth is 350 mm and overall depth 400 mm and breadth of the beam is 200 mm so according to the is 456 the breadth of the beam shall not be less than 200 mm we have to take up minimum 200 mm of the width of the beam okay so now you can find the sulfate of the beam this is the sulfate breadth depth and into density of the concrete okay now uh, this is the uh, sulfate this is the uh, load acting on the beam if you add this to load you will get the 10 kN per meter okay now we we will make this load as a factored load 15 kN per meter okay now using this load we will find the uh, ultimate moment that emu is equals to wl square by 8 this is for simply supported beam if you put the values according to this formula you will get the emu value 46.8 kilo newton meter now shear force uh, for shear force wl by 2 you can put the values and you will get the shear 37.5 okay kilo newton so using this value we can find the reinforcement first of first we will see the emu limit okay so this formula is for fe4 and 5 0.138 fck bd square uh, if you put the values in this you will get the mu limit 68 kN meter so here our mu limit is greater than mu or mu limit is greater than mu okay now this uh, now since section is under reinforced okay section is what under reinforced so we can use this formula uh, for ast uh, mu is equals to 0.87 fy ast into d Uh, under root under the bracket uh, one minus cst fy divided by bd in, b into d fck okay so uh, all the values you can put in this formula and if you simplify this formula you will get the ast 425 mm square so using this required ast you can provide uh, for for number of 12 mm die off bar as tension reinforcement okay so here in singly reinforced beam we are providing only at the tension zone steel we are providing steel only at the tension zone okay so for compression zone we are providing as a hanger bars whether you can use 10 mm or you can use 12 mm die off bar okay so now we'll see this shear reinforcement so check for shear we we have shear reinforce shear force 37.5 kilo newton so we have a formula to v is equals to vu by bd you can put the values in this you will get the to v Uh, value point five three newton per mm square. Okay, now we need to find the tos tosi value. Okay, so here we have a percentage formula, percentage of steel. You can put the values in this formula. We will get the percentage of steel of beam. Okay, so using this percentage of steel, using this percentage of steel, uh, using according to the refer table, uh, according to the S four five six table number nineteen. So uh, we are, we are using M twenty grade of concrete. we will get the tosi value okay we need to make inter pollution using those values we will get the tosi value here tovi this is the tovi tosi we will get tosi value 5 uh, 0.51 so here tovi is greater than tovi is greater than tosi so if tovi is greater than tosi then shear reinforcement are required okay so we need to check this section for balanced shear so using this formula you will put this formula uh, 
values in this formula you will get the 1.8 kilo newton so here as this balanced shear is very small balanced shear is very small so we can provide nominal shear reinforcement okay we can provide nominal shear reinforcement we can use uh, six two legged six mm dia at spacing uh, using this formula you can use this 250 mm center to center okay the required spacing is this we can use this uh, 250 mm center to center okay so here check for deflection so using this percentage of steel uh, that from figure uh, as 456 we will we will get the kt value and kc kf value uh, at this value and we will get the uh, what limit of deflection okay so our uh, span is 500 span by 350 is equals to 14.28 okay 14.28 so that limiting value is 22 okay the 14.28 is less than 22 hence uh, this beam is safe in deflection okay this is the cross section diagram so we are providing at bottom 4 number of 12 mm dia at top 2 number of 10 mm or else you can use 12, 12 mm bars hanger bars okay two legged 6 mm uh, dia at 250 mm center to center this is all about this singly reinforced beam okay so this even uh, also this beam we will see in e taps okay so this is the beam uh, here i have taken m20 grade of concrete and uh, fe 4 on 5 so i have applied the uh, 8 kilo newton per meter on the beam that uh, it is in the problem okay so uh, this is our simply supported beam okay now i'll analyze this beam okay directly i'll analyze this beam and we'll see the deflection and bending moment diagram okay so here frame pierce spandrel so we'll keep combination factored one so moment three three and just click on apply so you can use the right click on the beam so we have getting the same value 46.8 37.5 in in manual calculation also we are getting 46 and 37 okay now here we are getting ast 4 425 mm square we can use we can see this ast in etfs also just design this beam uh, you can see 426 mm square we are getting at the tension zone okay this uh, the the uh, values are almost similar okay the values are almost similar etfs as well as manual okay so this is about all about a singly reinforced beam okay so if you want to learn etfs you can join my course okay if you want to learn etf fully you can join most jo join my course and thank you very much for watching this video okay